Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 15. Shie Hasaikai has pretty much been dealt with. Your boy, as a matter of fact, has lost both arms. And in turn, that means he is unable to transform anything, as far as we know. He's not my boy. No, no, I mean just... Overall? Like Shie Hasaikai. But... If he could, like, use his toe. If he could use his feet, that'd be one thing. Shigaraki stepped up in that fact, because Shigaraki was just like... You tried to take something from me. You did take something from me. Now we're going to take something from you. Your ability to use your powers. Have fun. And then they left him there for the police to reclaim. And they Which I mean good for him because you know, Overhaul was a way more interesting villain than Shigaraki. Yeah, well yeah, Overhaul was I think it was he actually had like a motive. A motive that in certain circles, could be seen as justified, or he was, pa or he had the passion behind it. I know I'm very interested to see what is going to happen. So, you know, no more dilly dallying. Let's just get into it. Here we go. So you've had eyewitness reports, eh? Hard to believe he's this deep in the mountains. Absolutely sure it's Kurogiri. In the last couple <laughs> of days, four people have reported spotting him. Given how remote the area is. How many other butler dressed shadow dudes are there in Japan? <laughs> Nice. It's a clone. So I finally get to meet you, Kurogiri. It's a pleasure. Gran Torino. I'll take him and speed out of here before he gets a chance to bolt. You and me can even get to know each other a little bit better along the way. Have you or the officers heard whispers of a man with a wild appearance traversing this area? What's that? <gasps> What the heck? Was that an earthquake? If for whatever reason I should go away for an extended period, you will be the only one who can protect Tomura. That said, should you ever be concerned or feel as though you need assistance, there is someone else you can rely on. For a sunny day, sorry. Uh, well, there we go. Allow me to introduce you to one of his most faithful servants, Gigantomachia. Damn. Oh, hell. Good news is, most everyone's headed back to class. The doctors want to monitor Togata a little while longer. The recovery girl was able to completely heal the rest of the students involved in the raid. I want to be here for Aerie whenever she wakes up. I'm afraid she's still too dangerous for that. Right now, we need to trust that the doctors will help her. Okay, then. I want to see Togata before I leave, though. I'll be right back. It's me, Midoriya. Hey, I'm a main man! <laughs> you must be heading back to campus, huh? I hear I'm the only one who's got to stay in the hospital. I don't get it. Like, come on, look how much energy I have. I refuse to sit around crying. I guess I gotta focus on becoming a fine hero one day. Know what I mean? Plus, if I've got a gloomy face on, it might make little Airy feel sad. You protected Airy the whole time. Even after your quirk was taken away. You kept that scared little girl safe all on your own, but I had to have help from her and Mr. Aizawa. If you had been the successor instead of me, then maybe not I would be alive. If I told you there was some way that I could give you my quirk, then would you? Nah, I wouldn't want it. <laughs> if that were really possible and you could just hand your ability over to me, I would be causing you a bunch of trouble, wouldn't I? I don't know why you talk like you did something wrong. You did a good job. You're a hero, Deku. Yesterday, Eraser told me about Eri and how her power works. Later, as she gets older and trains, she may be able to use her quirk properly. Then, I'll try asking her if she can rewind me to when I still had permeation. I'm not going to give up looking for ways to return to normal. I'll probably have to take some time off from classes at UA until my quirk comes back. But don't worry about me. I'm going to be just fine. Let's both keep smiling. Okay. I promise I won't give up on UA. Because I'm the hero who will save a million people. Good. I'll be waiting for you. I'm sorry to bother you two right after your discharge, but we'd like you to come down to the station with us. We have some questions for you about the incident. Yes, sir. Thanks to the police questions and the paperwork that had to be done following the raid, 
We didn't end up getting back to the dorm until the sun had gone down. There were a lot of last-minute forms to fill out at Ryukyu's office. We did that too. Uh, there you guys are! It's about time you showed up! All of us were worried about yeah, you! Yeah, we saw the news! It looked terrifying! Is anyone hurt? What troublemaker? Tell us everything! Enough of this! I know everyone was worried, but calm down! We all saw news coverage. Our classmates have been through an ordeal. If you want to help, you should console them quietly and let them rest their bodies and their minds. Thanks for that. But really? Let's both keep smiling. This is okay, if I may. Do you have any idea how worried I was? Awful. What have you ever returned? Take your own advice and chill out. At least Open wide. I held Nighteye in my arms. What if I'd been faster or stronger? Each of you did everything within your power. The responsibility for this lies with us. I won't tell you not to mourn, but I do want you to think about whether this is what you want your future to be. What do you want? Hmm. To save people. Oh, when the heck didn't you tell us what was going on? Oh, oh does I? <laughs> by this. Sorry, we were sworn to secrecy. Oh, what a cutie! Oh, his coat is funny. Do you guys want to hold it for a little while? <laughs> Yo, Kachan, what are you over here sulking for? I'll let those feelings Careful. Out, don't you? I'm for bed. Uh, what? Seriously? But it's so early. Kachan and Todoroki have already started their remedial courses. They must be working hard. We finally had time to reflect on what we've been through. I only heard the highlights about what had gone down with Kirishima and the others. But I knew a lot had happened to everyone. Too much had happened. Been there. <laughs> President Mike, oh my, why are you here? We'll, we'll be, be taking, taking you to training today. Eraser's gonna be playing hooky thanks to all the yakuza chart, chart toppers who were taken down yesterday. I'm all over this. Consider me your new bodyguard. We're taking extra precautions due to the league's activity. The league should practically be ours for the taking if that one's out of commission. Not quite. We didn't get the other guy, the one with it. All for one's direct subordinate, it seems. Honestly, between arresting Kurogiri and letting that monstrosity go, it's hard to say if we made the right choice. Wow. He's a walking disaster. We chased after him with back, but it was too late. The search is still going on. Let's get this party started so you can get your licenses already, my brothers. <laughs> I've been wanting to sit down and have a chat with you man to man for a while. Actual cami this time? I, 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 I'm wondering. Maybe. She sounds different, so I think that's actually her. Wow. Back off, Kami. He's mine. Shall we make today's training a little bit more interesting? Uh oh. 
wonder if he's still sleepy. Uh, he still looks sleepy. I think <laughs> I think that dude's quirk is eternally tired, and no matter what, he can never sleep, and he's just quirk like, is uh, insomnia. Yeah, it turns out it's just preview. Boo. So, <clears throat> so yeah, a new player has entered the board. Literal giant smashes mountains, man. Or Brock Lesnar, you know. Because if there's a person who I imagine can suplex a mountain, it's, it's Brock Lesnar. I wonder, I, I, you know, I think it'd be hilarious if they actually got Brock Lesnar to voice that guy because Brock Lesnar's voice actually does not match how he looks. He actually has a fairly, like, high-pitched voice. <laughs> it, it's, it'd be hilarious. I'm just kind of worried because it's like, it seems like Shigaraki has been getting all this attention from All for One, and now we're introduced to a character that is apparently All for One's direct subordinate that is really hard to deal with. So is like, is that them like kind of backpedaling? Because, you know, like I said, I'm kind of worried about Shigaraki being able to like carry well, the series as like the villain. I so it's like, are they going to like phase him out? Guy, that guy is going to come into play and he's going to sort of be... I, I guess he's going to test Shigaraki out and see if Shigaraki is capable of being a leader because I think I I think that's why I think that's why uh, Kurogiri was out there looking for him. I think he was out there looking for him to try and convince him, hey, um, you know, you're you're his former subordinate, you're his former direct subordinate. Now he's in prison and he's wanting to pass off the the torch. Of villainry to to this dude. Can you give him a chance? See if you like him. But I think before Kurogiri could seal the deal, that's when Gran Torino and the, the and the police came in and detained him. And now that Kurogiri is now in custody, that's something else too because that's that pretty much eliminates their pretty, pretty big deal. Well, that eliminates their travel capacity because you know they're still able to travel like fairly well on their own, but like an instant get out of jail free card it's just like oh black portal in the floor oh yeah y'all are y'all are good now um also real Kami I'm not sure what her like if that is real Kami or not but if that's uh if that's psycho crazy ex-girlfriend well one, one would assume because it's like she realizes she missed the test presumably because she was knocked out somewhere while you know Toga was being weird yeah at well, Toga, Toga being weird. Ah, that's that's about normal. It's is normal, um of course. Is Gigantomachia is he is was he the guy in the cloak that Ashido sent to the police station in the uh, Kirishima flashback? They look similar because that Maybe. was like a big dude. Maybe. I don't know. Can't I'm sure. I'm sure the someone will comment. Yeah, yeah. That. Someone down below will let us know. Uh, but yeah, because oh. I mean, they were both big dudes that like to smash things, and you know, Hulk smash. They... But I, I think in the flashback, he was like that dude was wearing like a big cloak or something. But he's huge. I mean, he was like two stories tall. So yeah, I know. I I remember what you're talking about, and maybe, maybe. I mean, so. not not that there's a lot there, but it's just kind of interesting that it was like okay, maybe they did introduce this guy before. It's just you know we didn't realize that he was gonna matter. Yeah, and well. I I think there's still pieces that we're not aware of. It's it's a lot like a a chessboard in the shadows. It's like more and more is revealed the more th that goes on. And I think that guy right there is effectively like a rook. You know, just like straightforward, smash, move out. And I think I'm not sure what like how to like how to feel about like you said I I think if Shigaraki can't get that guy over to his side, which, you know, he was not able to get the Shie Hisaikai over to his side in any circumstance, and I'm wondering how they're going to convince, like, big dudesmen to pretty much just be like, hey, I'll work with you, you know, because you're like the protege to my, oh, crap, you're actually, like, not that strong. Your your power is to dissolve? Okay. Um, anything else? Because, you know, all, you know... Uh, all for one is is literally like all the powers combined into one. That's actually a kind of terrifying villain. So was Overhaul. Overhaul was a very terrifying villain. Now I will say after the Overhaul arc, 
Shigaraki's a lot smarter than I was giving him credit for because I just thought he was unhinged. I didn't see him as being very calculating compared to All for One or, you know, Overhaul and his dude. So, so if All for One did give him a bunch of powers, Shigaraki might actually be formidable. If he actually, like, planned all that out and that wasn't just, like, his, uh, his subordinates acting on their own to an extent. If he told them to do everything they did, that's pretty impressive foresight. Or at least, or if they're all, all that, that like minded, because there was, they had that one guy that could like force confessions out of people. So yeah, if they're that like minded and, you know, committed to the same goal, that in itself is pretty impressive. You know? Hmm. There's so many things that, that, that can happen. And something I'm still wondering about is, uh, it reminded me because of Kami showing back up, but when Toga took Midoriya's blood, um, surely that wasn't that far in advance that they were taking it for that specific plan. No. For her to be able to turn into him and be like, hey, they're down here. Like, they had to just be like, oh, I could do this because mm-hmm. I have his blood. Like, I don't know if it was well, like a thing where she went and did that on purpose for a specific reason or if it was like her just being like a crazy stalker yandere and yeah. just, she just wanted his blood. I, so she figured that would be a good place to show up and take it or something. Well, I think overall she's following the orders of, of Shigaraki still. As long as, you know, she's able to have fun and enjoy. And I think her her psychopathic tendencies are more aligned with what she does, or with her actions. I think that's effectively what that is. But still, there's, you know, I think she's willing to follow orders as long as they're not too ridiculous or anything like it. It's just as long as they're to Shigaraki and to, to no one else, really. Because the perception of a lot of villains out there is that Shigaraki is pretty much carrying on Stain's ideology. And they're caught up under that veil without actually knowing that Stain and Shigaraki never actually got along. And, you know, Stain saw Shigaraki as a hindrance on on the world of building where they're true heroes. Yeah, instead of these posers that like wanna that are in it for the attention. And yeah, the the whole That's thing the thing that I think is eventually gonna bite him in the ass is they're gonna realize at a point that his stuff doesn't really line up to what they looked up to Stain for and well, evil if Stain breaks out him. again if Stain breaks out again uh, it gets free and is able to confront Shigaraki. Say, Stain sees that. It's like, we are carrying on the legacy of Stain. Like, like, for instance, the lizard guy, who's very vocal, he's just like, this is not what Stain would have wanted. It, it, he comes on there and he says, we are the League of Villains and we are carrying on the legacy of Stain. And then all of a sudden, Stain sees that. He gets out and he's just like, I heard you were trying to carry on my legacy. And tell me, why are you failing so miserably? And... The, and then Lizard Gal just be like, but but you collaborated with the League of Villains. He's like, I hate the League of Villains. Shigaraki is a, is a hindrance on the, on the world. And, you know, just it all blows up. And then next thing you know, you got two factions of the League of Villains. You have those who are loyal to Tomo, or to uh, Shigaraki. And then you have those who are loyal to Stain. You know, and, or Stain just goes off on his own again and starts killing heroes again. But and doesn't want any subordinates because to him no one can ever live up to actually being a subordinate to him. I don't know. I don't know what his mentality is on that. But oh, but Toga, but Toga. I think with her and her actions, I think she did that with uh, Midor- with Midoriya's blood to effectively get all the attention back on uh, uh, Chisaki Overhaul. That's what I think. Because uh, she knew that Midoriya had a lot on his plate down there, you know, trying to look after, you know, trying to find Aizawa, trying to look after uh, Mirio, trying to look after Night Eye, trying to get Eri back, and also trying not to die at the hands of Overhaul. And by introducing more pieces into the game, by doing that, she in turn gave Deku a way to beat, uh, to beat him. That's and I because that was eventually Toga's goal. Toga's goal was to disrupt and pretty much give Shigaraki the chance of obtaining 
those ampules that have the cure and the and the and the um uh the one that takes your cork away and the one that gives it back which i think that's what that is i think that's effectively what what their overall goal was but i don't know i i think the more and more we go on the more and more we're going to find out anyway yeah let's uh let's move on to the next video uh, so, again, everybody, thank you all for tuning in. And I guess until next time, I'm Nate. Micah. I am Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out.